after reading about transgenic rice, we are now looking in terms of applications of biotechnology with relation to pest resistance. Now, when you take pest resistance, if you take the crop called tobacco, tobacco is otherwise termed as Nicotiana tobacco. Tobacco is normally affected by a nematode and the nematode which affects the tobacco is termed as Melectogyne incognita. Melectogyne incognita is a nematode which is a root nematode, hence it is parasitic on to tobacco. So, when it is parasitic on tobacco, there is reduction of the sort of an yield of tobacco. Now, normally to prevent this infection, there is a very important molecular technique which is termed as gene silencing. Now, what exactly is the meaning of gene silencing? Gene silencing means you prevent the expression of a product of the gene. So, this is termed as gene silencing and as we go through the case study of uh, melecdodyne, we exactly will be looking into what really is happening. Now, in when you take tobacco, by there is a process which is termed as RNAi. RNAi is also called, I refers to interference. So, RNAi or gene silencing means the same. It is a method of cellular defense against the sort of a nematode, against the nematode. So, here what happens is, when you take Nicotiana tobacco, it has got genes, the DNA. The DNA have got, can produce small interfering RNA. They can produce small interfering RNA. The small interfering RNA are otherwise termed as RNAi. The RNAi can normally, they can, when the messenger RNA of the nematode, supposing tobacco is infected by the nematode, the nematode gene will make the RNA and then it will make the proteins and the enzymes and it will cause toxicity in the case of the tobacco. So, RNAi can interfere with the translation of mRNA. Transcription, DNA making RNA is termed as transcription, RNA making proteins is termed as translation. So, it can interfere with the translation of mRNA and it can block the translation of the mRNA. Now, this process of blocking or interference is termed as QLing. It is termed as QLing. It is also termed as co-suppression. It has been studied by Andrew Fire and Craig Mello. So, Andrew Fire and Craig Mello are associated with RNAi or gene silencing. What exactly happens down here? Here, there is a sort of a post transcription that is after transcription during the process of translation, there is a method of gene silencing. So, the method of post transcriptional gene silencing is termed as PTGS. So, what exactly happens down here? If we take introduce a sort of a transgenic transgene into tobacco or else if, if tobacco is subjected to a viral infection that is the source of the RNA or thirdly you could have transposable genes which are termed as transposons. Transposons are mobile genetic elements of RNA, otherwise a viral infection of tobacco which is the source of RNA. Otherwise, you have a sort of a transgene which is put into the sort of a tobacco cells. So, when it is put into the tobacco cells, they can produce an antisense RNA. They can produce an antisense RNA. Now, this antisense RNA is one which primarily has got an anti orientation. Supposing you think the nematode say, has got a gene sequence of A, B, C, D. The antisense RNA can produce a sequence which is termed as DCBA. Thereby, when a program is going from right to left, it can again abort the program by enabling the gene sequence to go from left to right. So, it produces an antisense RNA is one which has got an anti orientation. So, when an RNA is synthesized, you have the hybrid of the mRNA and the RNA that is you have two RNAs coming together. You have the mRNA from the nematode as well as you have another sort of an RNA with an antisense reading which comes 
and binds. So, in gene silencing there is an RNA RNA hybrid getting formed. When the RNA RNA hybrid gets formed, it results in RNA silencing, it prevents the mRNA from expression. So, a complementary double stranded RNA is getting formed. A complementary double stranded RNA which is made up of a sense or a coding RNA and it is also made up of an anti sense RNA with an anti orientation gets formed and this is termed as a sort of a double stranded RNA. The double stranded RNA binds, it binds and it prevents the mRNA from translation. So, the binding and the prevention of the mRNA from translation in tobacco cells of the nematode gene is termed as silencing. So, gene silencing is one very important method of pest resistance, of pest resistance by using the simple principles of biotechnology or recombinant DNA technology has seen in the case of tobacco in with relation to nematode infection. Thereby, RNA I or interference it is a, it is a method of cellular defense which naturally is present. So, how do you develop a sort of a pest resistant plant? We develop a pest resistant plant by saying to that there is no translation or protein synthesis from the mRNA. And because there is no translation or protein synthesis in the mRNA, there is no toxicity and thereby the tobacco plant is self protected from the parasite, it gets self protected from the parasite and the parasite also does not survive in the transgenic plant and it so it prevents the plant from the pests, it, it cannot survive and as such it gets aborted. So, this is one technique of how do you develop primarily pest resistant crops.